Imagine it's 1927. The world is still reading from past wars. In the cafes of Berlin and Copenhagen, physicists argue over the bizarre behavior of particles. And in a quiet, dimly lit room, a 25-year-old named Werner Heisenberg sits at a desk scattered with papers. He is searching for order within chaos. But the more he calculates, the more he realizes. If there is any order, it seems to be hiding from us. Then suddenly, an idea strikes. Maybe the problem isn't with us. Maybe nature itself doesn't want to reveal everything. And just like that, one of the most fundamental principles of modern physics was born. The uncertainty principle. In Heisenberg's own words, the more precisely we determine a particle's position, the less precisely we can know its momentum and vice versa. This is the uncertainty principle. A rule that tells us there will always be a part of reality hidden in the shadows of the unknown and maybe even after centuries it will never be fully uncovered. At first glance many assume uncertainty is simply a flaw in our measurement tools. But that's not the case. This principle isn't about technological limits, it's about the very nature of reality. It tells us that nature itself is fundamentally indeterminate. Even with the perfect measuring device, we still couldn't simultaneously know a particle's position and momentum with arbitrary precision. Why? Because these values don't even exist at the same time in the quantum realm. To understand this better, we must consider the wave-like behavior of quantum particles. Particles like electrons or photons aren't just particles and not just waves. They are both, depending on how we observe them. This is what we call wave-particle duality. In classical physics, measuring a ball's position is easy, just point to its location. But waves don't have a single position. They are spread out in space. If electrons behave like waves, then they too lack a precise position at least until we try to measure it. And the more we try to squeeze this wave into a precise point to know its position, the border the range of momentum we must involve. This is why we cannot know both the position and momentum precisely at the same time. This is not just a quirk, it's a mathematical consequence of wave function. In Newtonian physics, if we know an object's position and velocity, we can predict its future exactly. The universe was thought to be deterministic like clockwork, but the uncertainty principle changes that because we can never know all the information required to predict the future exactly, determinism breaks down. Instead of certainty, we deal with probabilities. We can only say there's a certain chance the particle will be here or moving this way, never with absolute certainty. The uncertainty principle doesn't just apply to position and momentum. It shows up in other forms all across quantum mechanics energy and time. You can't know both precisely over short intervals. It's been in different directions. Measuring one axis hides the others. These are just a few examples. The deeper truth here is chance and randomness are woven into the fabric of existence. Einstein famously said, God does not play dice. But quantum mechanics seems to disagree. In fact, this uncertainty stretches far beyond the lab. Even in the most extreme corners of the cosmos, at the edge of a black hole's even horizon, or at the very birth of the universe during the Big Bang, the uncertainty principle remains unbroken. In regions where gravity is so strong that space and time themselves bend and twist, where no classical law seems to survive intact, uncertainty holds its ground. It tells us that even when everything else dissolves, determinism, predictability, even the structure of space-time, nature still refuses to be fully known. And this mystery goes even deeper. Take temperature. One might imagine we could cool a system all the way down to absolute zero while all motion ceases. But here's the catch. Because the uncertainty principle must never be violated, Nature prevents that scenario from ever becoming real. 
If particles were to stop moving completely, we would know both their exact position and momentum which quantum mechanics forbids. So absolute zero isn't just extremely hard to reach, it's fundamentally impossible. It's not our technology that limits us, it's the logic of the universe itself. You might think this principle is only relevant in labs or theoretical equations, but it's not. It underpins many modern technologies. For example, electron microscopes are limited by uncertainty at the quantum level. Quantum encryption relies on it, since we cannot secretly measure both position and momentum, eavesdropping becomes impossible. Even atomic structure is shaped by it. Without uncertainty, electrons would collapse into the nucleus and atoms wouldn't exist. So yes, the uncertainty principle is no mere philosophy. It's a cornerstone of our modern world. The uncertainty principle is usually associated with the microscopic world, but if we look closer, we can find its effect even in the everyday world and on larger scales. For example, in social and economic phenomena, we witness random interactions and unpredictability that are very similar to the uncertainty at the quantum level. In society, Predicting the behavior of individuals or groups is extremely difficult. Even a small decision or a minor change can completely alter the overall course. The same applies to economics. Price fluctuations and economic crises, which sometimes seem to appear out of nowhere, can exhibit the same characteristics of uncertainty. In these systems, we cannot predict the future with complete accuracy because there is always a part of the unknown that prevents certainty. These similarities show that the uncertainty principle is not limited to the world of tiny particles, but also influences the macro world and even human behavior. In a way, this principle lies behind many of the complex phenomena we encounter daily. In the end, the uncertainty principle forces us to ask a deeper question. Is reality something definite and fully knowable, or is it a web of probabilities that only collapse into certainty when we look? This doesn't just challenge physics. It touches on philosophy, consciousness, and how we understand ourselves. The uncertainty principle confronts us with a profound idea. Certainty might be an illusion. At its core, the universe isn't fully predictable or precise. It pulses with probabilities and only through observation does one outcome become real. And so begins a journey into a world where knowledge means not just learning facts, but embracing what we cannot know.